Okay, this tutorial focuses on doing animated lines. So creating the illusion of something coming from nothing. So I'm going to start with a very simple cube. I'm going to select the slash fill so that it's actually see-through at this point and I'll just get the outside of the line. Done. Next one, I'm going to create a filled cube, which will be my masking layer. And done. Um, this is really boring, so I'm going to rotate a little bit. So, oops. When doing this stuff, notice how the side edge is actually just fill black as opposed to speckled. Double clicking will select the whole lot, so I can rotate it and position it. Running for a two second animation, I'm just going to insert frames for both layers. And on the top layer, which is my layer two, which is, should we become my mask layer, I will make a motion tween. Okay. And the motion tween is pretty simple. It goes to cover the entire shape. Almost. Anyhow, we'll see how we go. And I might need to rotate that a little bit. That should do. I haven't done with the one with the rotation before. And then it's basically mask. Nope, wrong one. Mask. And you, oh, it starts with something, goes to fully there. And that's pretty much it. It's fairly simple. Um, I might actually unmask this for a second and just refine my animation a little bit so that unlock the layer and slide it back a little bit so it starts from nothing and then mask so as it plays you can see the lines oh that one does a little weird thing anyhow um, and the thing is on this masking layer so this is my um, image layer and this is my masking layer you got to keep that aware of that what it is but with the masking layer you what you can do is you can actually go through and say animate frame by frame so you can color in little bits and have certain things appear at random times uh, with the image layer you can do anything in this layer I've just done a simple cube but any image could pop up this is a simple way of having things appear you set up your image you set up your mask and you have the mask move over the top of the image that's it